In this video, let us look at the syllabus of gynecology for MBBS students. Basically, gynecology is related to the female reproductive system, right? The health of the female reproductive system. Obstetrics is more concerned with the uh, childbirth, okay? Pregnancy and childbirth will be obstetrics. Gynecology will be the female reproductive uh, tract health, okay? So, let us look at uh, what exactly they are telling in the syllabus here. So, you should know the anatomy, physiology of the reproductive system, right? Common conditions. You should be able to detect normal pregnancy, etc. You should know about C-section, laparotomy, abdominal, vaginal hysterectomy, Fothergill's operation is that support for the uterus, isn't it? Then um, medical termination of pregnancy comes under obstetrics, yes. Slightly it's mixed up with the obstetrics, but however, you can look at the skills here. Pelvic exam you should be able to perform. You should be able to diagnose and manage common gynecological problems. You should detect uh, genital malignancies. Then you should be able to make a vaginal cytological smear. You should be able to perform a post-coital test, West vaginal smear examination for trichomonas vaginalis monilia gram stain for gonorrhea. Monilia is fungus, isn't it? Then what else? You should be able to interpret data of way of investigations like biochemical uh, reports, histopathological reports, radiological reports, ultrasounds. You should be able to interpret these investigations. How is it going people? Are you able to make some sense out of it? Gynecology, female reproductive system. Let's proceed. Look at this part of it. Assist couples with infertility, contraception, etc. And uh, menstrual abnormalities you should be able to manage. Benign and malignant tumors of the genital tract, etc. Screening, prevention, everything you should know. You should know about infections and other diseases of the genital tract, etc. You should know about the medical legal aspects, ethical issues, right? What could be the medical legal aspects here? Like uh, female floaticide, infanticide. What else can be there? Abuse, domestic violence. Look at the general guidelines. Now let us dive into the exact syllabus details. So basically vaginal discharge, you should know about it, the biology of vi vagina, cytology, natural defense mechanism against infections, bacterial flora of vagina like lactobacilli and all right and the normal vaginal pH and how it gets disturbed by infections etc. Pathological vaginal discharge, so you should know normal vaginal discharge so that you can recognize the pathological vi vaginal discharge right how to maintain hygiene, treatment for common causes like we saw trichomonas vaginalis, monilia, gonorrhea, menstrual uh, cycles, you should know abnormal, excessive, how you will manage and all that. Aminorhoia is, uh, there is primary and secondary aminorhoia. Primary is when there is never a menstrual cycle. Secondary is where there has been an initial menstrual cycle, but then there has been aminorrhea. You should know causes, principles of management. Dysfunctional uterine bleeding, D-U-B, dysfunctional uterine bleeding, you should know all about it. How is it going guys? We are discussing this uh, dysfunctional uterine bleeding. Under that they have given hormone therapy, uh, management options etc. Fertility and infertility both you should be able to handle. So in male and female you should know, you should a uh, physical exam of both female and male partner, partners. Okay. So, physical examination of male also. Interesting. Then, principles of medically assisted reproductive technology. MART. Medically assisted reproductive technology. So, nowadays there is nothing called as childlessness. So, uh, if there is no egg, they, there are egg donors. If there are no sperms, there are sperm donors. If there is no proper um, uterus, you can have surrogates. So, basically there is nothing like uh, childlessness. Isn't it? Medically assisted reproductive technologies. Endometriosis allied states. So, what is this endometriosis, guys? So, something like the endometrium, isn't it? So, this tissue which is sim very similar, but it is growing in lot of places. Genital injuries and fistulae. So, you should know about uh, injuries to the female genital tract, how to prevent causes, diseases of the urinary system, mainly UTIs, right? And uh, when it comes to sexually transmitted diseases, AIDS, right, HIV, pelvic tuberculosis, 
All this you should know. Genital infections. How's it going, people? Let's continue. We are looking at the syllabus of what? Gynecology. Displacement of the uterus, genital prolapse. So you, they also call it as uterine prolapse. Benign tumors, tumors of pelvic organs. Benign tumors of the cervix, uterus, ovarian. Tumors of pelvic organs. So central, uterine, ovarian. Continuing guys, some more content of uh, gynecology given as per the syllabus. Puberty, right? Malformations of the genital tract, you should know what malformations can be there. Right? Uh, then hormones, you should know all, of, uh, all about them. Sex and intersexuality. What do you mean by intersexuality? So basically, this is a condition where um, the anatomy doesn't um, kind of match with male or female, isn't it? So you should be sensitive to this also nowadays. Though it is rare, it just seems to be blown out of proportion nowadays. Anyways, choriocarcinoma, um, placental tumor, isn't it? You can say trophoblastic cancer. Shall we continue guys? PID, pelvic inflammatory diseases. <clears throat> what comes under these? So there are a lot of things that can cause this. Bacterial infections. So many things are there. Benign lesions of the cervix. You should know benign lesions of vulva, vagina. Under this you can get <clears throat> vulval epithelial disorders, vulval ulcers, benign tumors, vaginal cysts, right, vulval pain, etc. Now coming to... Diseases of broad ligament, fallopian tubes, parametrium. Parametrium is uh, surrounding the uterus, isn't it? How's it going, people? Shall we continue looking at gynecology syllabus? Precancerous lesions of genital tract. So, premalignant uh, lesions of vulva, you have vulval intraepithelial neoplasia, Paget's disease, Lichens, sclerosis, squamous cell hyperplasia, condyloma, cuminata, so many other. Then you have vaginal intraepithelial neoplasia that kind of stands for vein. Strange, right? V-A-I-N. Vein. Vaginal intraepithelial neoplasia. Similarly, you have cervical intraepithelial neoplasia that they just made it C-I-N. Anyways, we'll move on. Not going into the details. Screening procedures in gynecology. What will be the screening procedures? Cervical smear, vaginal smear, all this pap smear, etc. Isn't it? So VDRL also for syphilis, they are screening procedures. Then clinical aspects of menopause, low back ache, psychosomatic problems in gynecology. What are the psychosomatic problems? Overactive bladder could be a psychosomatic, right? Lot of such things. Moving on guys, we have still little more, just little more. Carcinoma cervix, very important, right? Carcinoma cervix, very important. Then carcinoma of endometrium malignant ovarian tumors which are the ovarian tumors that are malignant serous cyst adenocarcinoma mucinous cyst adenocarcinoma so many are there right choriocarcinoma here malignant teratoma so carcinoma vulva Radiotherapy, chemotherapy, imaging techniques, endoscopy, diseases of breast. So they are including breast here after such a long time. Now they are telling about diseases of breast. Operative gynecology. So what should you know in operative? Dilatation, curatage, right? Endometrial biopsy, tubal patency test, electric cauterization of cervix. Cryosurgery, cervical biopsy, amputation of cervix. And there's another complicated word here. Trachel or refi. What is this? Sewing up a laceration of the neck of the uterus. Okay, then for third gills operation, we told you about the support for the uterus. Vaginal hysterectomy with pelvic floor repair. So they're talking more about the vaginal hysterectomy. Abdominal hysterectomy, yes. Hope you have seen all these procedures in the OT. Laparotomy for ovarian tumors. Okay. So that was about gynecology syllabus for MBBS students. Guys, um, so hope you understood. It's all about the female reproductive tract, isn't it? And uh, they have included a small part on the breast, isn't it? That's all guys. For now, hope you have understood the syllabus of gynecology for MBBS students. Bye-bye.